In the 2018 version of Revit Structure, there was a lot of improvements made to steel connections. There were a lot more connections available. And you could easily add them to your project. The difference with Revit 2019 for structure is that the steel connections are not a separate add-on that you had to that you have to install. It automatically comes with the installation of Revit. So just like in the previous version, you can add connections to your elements, and then that connection is fully parametric. The difference in 2019 is that when you meticulously go through a particular connection and set all the parameters exactly the way you need them, in 2018, if you wanted to add another connection, you'd have to go through this process all over again. But the improvement that's made in 2019 is that I can set up a connection the way I like it, adding whatever parameters I need to have, and then I can select the connection and create a custom connection out of it just by clicking customize. I simply give that connection a name and now it's saved in my project. And wherever I need to add this particular custom connection I just simply start the connection tool select that custom connection out of my list of types and then place the connection. I can even take existing connections and I can in a, in a sense explode them with the break command and I can break those individual elements of the connection into separate elements and I can edit them as needed. Then I can create a whole new custom connection out of that modification. Just select the connection, hit customize once again, give it a name, and then I can add elements to the connection. All these elements are now individual elements, but I can now, in a sense, group them together in a new customized connection that can be placed anywhere throughout the model. So Revit 2019 for structure has the ability to take these very parametric connections and save them and reapply them at any other connections within your project.